First, let's understand how Newton described gravity. Newton states that every particle attracts every other particle in the universe with a force. This force is called as gravity, which roughly depends upon the mass of the object and the distance between the objects. But he did not explain why this gravity works. In fact, he only described it as a magical force. Albert Einstein, in his theory of general relativity, tries to explain the existence of gravity. Instead of being a magical force, it has been described as the curvature of space-time. To get a basic idea of it, think of space-time as a piece of fabric. Now, if you put any piece of matter over this fabric, you will notice that the geometry of this fabric is getting distorted, causing it to curve. The higher the amount of mass, the more will be the amount of curve. This curve in space-time generates a gravitational pull which is maximum at the center of the matter. So wherever matter is present, space-time is curved. The more the matter is there, more space-time is curved, producing a gravitational force which travels at the speed of light. It also provided us with the current understanding of what black holes are. These are regions in space where space-time gets so distorted that nothing escapes, not even light. At times, massive celestial bodies such as big star, galaxy cluster or a black hole cause sufficient curvature of space-time for the path of light around it to be visibly bent, as if by a lens, and thus giving a distorted picture to the observer. The body causing the light to curve is accordingly called a gravitational lens. And this phenomena is called as gravitational lensing. Now, if the source, lens and the observer are perfectly aligned in a straight line and the source and lens are spherically symmetric, then we will observe a beautiful phenomena called the Einstein ring. This phenomena was first observed in 1998 by the Hubble Space Telescope. With the help of gravitational lensing, we have been able to discover not only many previously unseen galaxies, but it has also helped us to detect mysterious things in the universe that we cannot see, like dark matter. Unlike normal matter, dark matter does not interact with the electromagnetic force. It does not absorb, reflect or emit light, making it extremely hard to spot. Although it is invisible to our eyes, since it has mass, it also bends light that comes close to it just like ordinary matter. In fact, researchers have been able to infer the existence of dark matter only from the gravitational effect it seems to have on visible matter. Any mass over the fabric of space-time will create distortions not only in the three dimensions of space that is length, width and height but also time which is considered as the fourth dimension. This is referred to as time dilation which can take place either through relative motions through the space or through gravitational effect. Let's understand how time is altered by relativistic motion. The faster you move through the three dimensions that define physical space more slowly you're moving through the fourth dimension that is time let's try to understand it with an example if there are two persons of same age one person stays on earth the other person travels to the space at a very high speed and returns back he will find out that his age is much younger than the person who stayed back on earth motion through the 3d space not only affects the biological processes but also affects the atomic clocks. Now let's see how gravitational effect alters the time. In simple words, if you are close to the gravitational pull, time will slow down and if you are far away from the gravitational pull, time will run fast. This effect was also shown in the movie Interstellar with, where when they stayed one hour close to a black hole it corresponded to around 8 years on Earth. 